Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We were the pre-race favorites, and you lived up to the role with brio. Well done for this win. Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Tour de France 2020 playthrough with Team Ineos and today it is time for stage number 14 and hopefully it's a reprieve after an absolutely bonkers stage 13 in which from 12 and a half minutes back Mikhail Kvatkovsky took the yellow jersey. What a stage it was for all of us to be honest but particularly for Kvatkovsky who took the yellow jersey, the polka dot jersey and the green jersey quite incredible. Some good news as well, Grant Thomas managed to beat his rivals, again the top three of uh, the Tour de France general classification before this stage was Grant Thomas Roglic and Fugslang in the opposite order to that, so Grant Thomas made up some good time wasn't it, on his opponents um, and a good stage as well for Carapaz, Bernal, Froome and Dennis. Brilliant stage as well in the climbs for Kvatkovsky, he took every point available in the climbs and in the sprints as well, absolutely incredible. And this leads to the classifications to look a little bit like this. The Tour de France general classification has been blown completely out of the water. Kvatkovsky coming from 12 and a half minutes back to lead that classification by two and a half minutes to Roglic behind. Fuglsang sits in third place just ahead of Grant Thomas in fourth, 19 seconds ahead. And um, we've got three of our guys in the top eight with Carapaz uh, 16 and a half minutes back. Uh, Bernal has lost a little bit of ground. He's fell out of the top 10. He's gone into 12th place. Chris Froome uh, falls down eight place into 31st. And as you can see, We've got Dennis and Castro Viejo a while back. We also took the polka dot jersey, Kvatkovsky, top of that list. There is really no battle now for that best climber classification. 48 points to the gap, so only De Gent really can catch us. We've also took the points classification, but I think we're going to struggle to keep that with Peter Sagan being the best sprinter, without a doubt. Young Riders were second in that. Team classification we lead, and compatibility, Kvatkovsky has got that for good measure. But today, it is a bit of a reprieve. It's a flat stage, and uh, as you can see... Our riders have not recovered the best, uh, a lot of energy lost there, but ultimately it was a tough stage in everyone. So we're going to hang back in the pellet and probably get somebody up in the breakaway just to make sure that uh, we don't get too many climbing points stole away from us. But Kvatkovsky is going to sit comfortably in the pellet today and uh, it should be a fairly decent stage, a fairly calm stage. It's got to be calm on that last stage, it was absolute madness stage 13. But without any further ado, it's time for stage number 14. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbours no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. As we've got the yellow jersey, we'll have to shoulder our responsibilities and set the pace in the peloton. Teams interested in the stage win will have to give us a hand towards the end. We don't have what it takes to be in the final sprint. If we want to make a showing, we'll have to be in the early breakaway. Have a good stage. Hello cycling fans everywhere. Even though today's stage is mostly flat, the closing kilometres through the streets of Lyon won't be to the liking of the sprinters. Given the free urban climbs that await them, it would be surprising if they asked their teammates to manage the gap with the breakaway. The Baradeurs would seem to have a good chance of winning today. Here we are then, stage number 14. Uh, we're going to get Chris Froome in the breakaway just to try and get some points. Uh, Obviously, well, not get some points, but make sure that we don't get any points stolen off us. Now, we cannot lose the polka dot jersey today with Kvatkovsky. We can, however, lose that points jersey. So we're going to get Chris Froome up there. Just try and take some points away, particularly in the first half of the race. There are six, I think, nine points available, about ten points available in those three, three climbs. So every little helps. Um, but everybody else is just going to hang back and protect our leaders. Okay, lads. Today could be a day for the battle of dirt. Sprinters won't begin their element, and it's not difficult enough for the favourites to go on the attack. So, in short, if any of you want to slip into the early breakaway, it could be worth a shot. I think it's certainly worth a shot. And Chris Froome's off. Right, we've got a good gap. There's only a few guys that have gone. Nobody really troubles the classifications. Demarchi is... 
uh, 18th in that points classification. Uh, Simon's also broke away. But we're only going to get one rider in this breakaway. Seems silly to have too many of our guys. We just want to support Kovatkovsky in uh, that peloton. But Chris Froome, we haven't really ridden too much with him so far in this tour. So I thought we'd give him a chance at the front today. Plus the fact he is uh, a mountain rider. So the climbs will be right up his street. We'll just wait for these guys to, to catch up to us. We've got nearly a 60 second gap to Mikhail Kvatkovsky, who is now the yellow jersey holder. Um, I did notice that uh, we have got um, other guys with the polka dot and green jersey. Obviously, you can't wear them all at once. So second place in those classifications uh, will wear those jerseys. But unless anything particularly interesting happens, I'll see you guys when we get to the first climb. So here we are at the first climb of the day. Too many guys, you probably have to say, in this breakaway. We've got nearly a four-minute gap to the pallet. There's nobody really here unless they're, they're sneaking behind this first ten uh, who are really in the battle for the polka dot jersey. So we're just focusing. I'm trying to get some points with Chris Froome. Just making sure nobody else gets them, really. Because if we lose the polka dot jersey by five or six points later in the... Uh, in the tour, then at least we can't complain. At least we fought for every single point. And it's nice to ride with Chris Froome anyway. Of course, a Tour de France winner. Not really had it in this tournament, but it's a fourth class climb, so nothing too overexerting, to be quite honest. Should be able to get the point. As we've said, Chris Froome is a good mountain rider. Four minute gap, though, to the Peloton. And we are the best placed for uh, the general classification in this um, in this breakaway. As you can see, best puncher in the group. So a good choice to go with Chris Froome. We've just told uh, the guys in the peloton just to just to protect Mikhail Kvatkovsky. And obviously Grant Thomas is another hope for us as well. Going to keep our eye on both riders. Uh, Kvatkovsky obviously our big rider now. He has to be our main focus, ultimately. But we're just going to go with this with about, probably about 0.8 kilometres to go. Should have no problem here. Again, it's not the steepest of climbs. And we have got good mountain riders, which makes this all a little bit easier. But I could be wrong. We could lose the points here as we come up to the top. Might have got a little bit early with Chris Froome. Yep, we have. And uh, we can't get the point. But it's Turns who gets the point. I mean, not too fussed about that. He's not someone I don't think who's challenging for that mountains classification. No, he's got one point in it. So, absolutely fine there. No complaints. But we start a big climb in a minute. So... Again, we'll try and get some points there. So five points available on this second climb of the day. Five points for the leader. Four points for second, I think. But it might be three points. But I know it's certainly two points for third and one point for fourth over this climb. This group exactly the same as it was before. No change in it. Again, nobody snuck into the top ten of the group that's challenging for the mountains classification. But in my opinion, if you've got a chance of winning something, then why not go for it? Buhan has been left behind. The only guy who has been left behind uh, for the BCA team. A little bit of a shame when one guy that gets left behind. But ultimately, we are getting to near the end of the tour. So some guys might well just slip off. Not really worrying about this particularly at the moment. Going to set a good pace though. Try and tire a few guys out. That's the aim. And hopefully we'll be able to get to the summit first. Be a good five points for us. Obviously Froome not in the battle for the mountains classification. But nevertheless, we can at least try and tire everybody out in the breakaway. There's a good gap to the peloton. But I think that will be uh, brought back down when we get to the end of the race, ultimately. I don't see the breakaway really doing it here. So here we go. Just up there. Might not get the points again. Froome, not such a good climber, really. But we do get the points. Five points there. That's excellent to see. Tunes looks like probably, or Tunes, I don't really know what his name's pronounced as. Um, but he's probably the best, second best climber, it seems, in this group. He's uh, got some good points so far. But Degent, I don't know about, I don't know if Degent's just given up uh, on the Mountains classification. No idea, but I haven't seen him in the breakaway for a long time. And ultimately, being in the breakaway is an essential... Well, it's it's key, isn't it, to, to doing well in the Mountains classification. So time for the third climb of the day. The last before the first sprint. And we've just consumed all of our feeds with Chris Froome. There is a refill after this climb. That's why we've consumed them. But uh, the breakaway still 15 riders long. Hmm, interesting. Very, very interesting. 
pretty un uneventful stage though, this really, apart from a few climbs and sprints. That's why we've just kept Kvatkovsky tucked inside the pelt. And he deserves a bit of a reprieve after that really tough stage. And there's a really tough stage after this, so we just don't want to overexert at all. Chris Froome is someone that we can just uh, sacrifice, really. He's not challenging for any sort of classification. It's a shame, really, because Chris Froome's a really good rider, but this shoot's just not happened, ultimately. Carapaz... Uh, Grant Thomas and Egan Bernal were the top three guys of priority, but ultimately now, because of Kvatkovsky's performance the last few stages, he has to now be the priority. And Chris Froome slips even lower, bless him, to fifth priority. Well, we're not going to do anything just yet. Keep it, keep it at a steady pace. Not the biggest of climbs really here. It's so about a 7% incline and just seems to tail off a little bit as we get to the top, 6.1. Not going to go just yet. Going to increase the pace a little. Go with 0 0.6 to go. There we go. Good stuff. Just try and tire everybody out. Oh, tell you what though. Turns is a good, uh, good rider in the mountains. Over the line, though. Two points again for Chris Froome. Well done. You took the last climb. It prevents our competitors from stealing too many points. Yep, this is what I was talking about before. Kvatkovsky does lead that uh, that classification. And it just prevents anybody from taking any points. So I appreciate there's nobody in the breakaway who's really challenging for any points. Uh, well, not the points, but challenging for the classification. But even so, it's important just to steal any points from anybody you might want to challenge for that classification. It seems a bit trivial now because that they won't. We're not that far behind. It's only Degent and Kvatkovsky in there. But seeing as we're up here, as I said before, we might as well challenge for it. And so far we've done pretty well. So it's time for the intermediate sprint. We have left some of the guys behind. Uh, nobody really challenged. I mean, demarchi has got 69 points. So it'd be nice to take some away from him. But the breakaway split into three groups. Nine of us have gone. There's two more groups. And they're going to go back into the peloton, I guess, soon. So 1.6 kilometres to go. We'll increase the pace a little bit here. Just before the kilometre line, when we'll probably start to go. Right, oh, let's go. Hopefully catch a few of these guys off guard. Look at Chris Froome, he's gone. Absolutely bolted. It might have been a little bit early to go. Oh, we're not quite going to get first. But we beat Demarchi, the big challenger. That's the most important thing there. Second in that sprint, good to see. And as you can see, there's not really much going on till the end of the end of the. I want to say the end of the frame. Very bizarre. I don't know why I'm thinking about snooker. Uh, oh, there's a few points on offer for uh, the other guys that are inside the breakaway. But until those last two very small climbs, I think the category four climbs, there's absolutely nothing going on. So all going to plan at the moment. Absolutely fine in this stage. Rightio then. We've gone a long way. As you can see, the Peloton is pretty much going to catch up, you would say, here. The Peloton, as you can see, just behind. Um, Chris Froome starting to lose a little bit of energy. I'm not bothered about one point, to be honest. I have to say, we're going to just let somebody take it. I know every point counts, but honestly, we've got most of the points there. I don't think we need to worry. Um, we are going to stay with you, though, until the end. Now, we've not really seen much at this stage, so I'll stay with you until the end of the stage. And we'll just get Chris Froome back into the pallet here again. I'm not going to worry about the odd point being given away. It's Simon who takes the point. Brilliant. Uh, you know, a few of the guys starting to pull away at the front. But they'll come back to the pallet, I would say, at the end of this. So we'll just fast forward a little bit now. Uh, we'll get Castro Viejo to consume his feed. He's starting to struggle a little now. Apparently the breakaway still got a little, bit, little bit of pace. Uh, anybody else? Do, 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 do. Might as well get them to consume their blue feed. Same for Castro Viejo at this point. He should be fine. Right, let's uh, focus on... Uh, not Kvatkovsky, I think he should be fine. Let's focus on uh, Grant Thomas. Obviously, he's someone we're looking for for the general classification. We know that Kvatkovsky has got that yellow jersey, but he's a long way in front. So in a bunched finish, we're not really too fussed. I mean, I guess he could go for the sprint, but 
Again, we don't want to overexert over him too much. We'll just analyse what the situation's like uh, when we get there. So Chris Froome in a group by himself now. Who knows, he might not be able to catch up to the breakaway. To be fair, it is a minute and 41. Uh, it seems Chris Froome's trying to get caught up to that breakaway. We'll tell him to uh, ride hard. I mean, if there's something to be won here, then we might as well go for it. Let's get that blue gel down yet. This should be an interesting end to the stage. Uh, Kvac Koska, as you can see, the nice yellow jersey. Lovely. We're not going to lose that yellow jersey today. Nothing's really going to change. It's a flat stage. I can't see anything changing here. Just the one point available for this uh, last climb of the day. So, again, I don't think we're going to really worry about it with Chris Froome. But to be honest, you know, it could, uh, it could well be a, a stage where the, the breakaway win. There is only about seven kilometres to go, so the peloton's got to ride hard to get up to those guys. Mm, exactly, it's looking good. So I think we're going to get to, we're going to get to Chris Froome. Why not? We might as well just try and go for the stage win here. Don't see any harm. Probably be a little bit of too much of a gap to get back now. Don't want to lose all our blue energy. Obviously, we took that blue feed. Hopefully, that's not going to be the case for everybody else who's in the. Uh, pallet. As you can see, there's a little bit of a, a well, I thought there was a little bit of a break inside the pallet potentially. Well, Simon takes another point. We're just going to try and get over the line and then accelerate. But I, d I think that we probably lost a little bit too much energy to get for this stage win now. I think we've run out of uh, blue energy. Was it pink gel or... But it, no, it's was, no, it was blue gel. Oh, dear. Not potentially the best move then to get our guys to consume their feed. I mean, we will gain a little bit of energy coming back down this climb. But I don't really think there's too much to play for for Chris Froome here. But it looks like it's going to be a breakaway win. Obviously, not to the extent uh, of the last stage. The Pelton not too far away. A few points available. For the sprinters teams. But it's going to be really annoying for somebody like Sagan. Right. Just try and get our blue energy back. Back down this uh, summit. So. A kilometre and a half away. From the finish. Might as well try and take a few points. Looks like Haig's going to take an individual win. We'll go back to the uh, rest of the guys in a minute. Just bearing in mind, obviously, there's not too far to go now. So we will do risk a blow-up. We might as well go for this, though. And Chris Froome over the line. I think he gets third there. Let's go back to the rest of the pack. To uh, Grant Thomas. Come on, mate. See if we can gain a few seconds. Again, it's going to be pretty trivial at the end, to be honest here. It doesn't really matter where we finish in the stage. But the good news is, is that... Uh, oh, so I can get seven. So he'll be happy with that. Makes a few points up on uh, Mikhail Kvatkovsky. But as said, really, it was going to be one of those stages that was fairly uneventful. Just a mass sprint at the end, bar a few who uh, won in the breakaway. But a decent stage, nothing wrong, which is the main thing at this point. Just trying to control that lead. But we'll have a look at the standings at the end to see if there's any shocks. Probably no point going over the podium today. Because nothing will have changed. Apart, obviously, from that stage victory. So the winner of the stage. So just me, has the screen gone a bit blurry? Yeah, it has. Hey, gets the stage victory. Kvatkovsky still at the lead of... Ooh! Hmm. Sagan takes the lead back of the points classification. That's interesting. Maybe should have gone for it a little bit with Kvatkovsky. But we're not too worried. Good stage, though. Absolutely fine. Great, guys. I wasn't expecting anything from this stage. And you bring home a podium place? Well done to you all. We retain the yellow jersey. It's a perfect day. Well, sports director's happy with that. Chris Froome gets on the podium. Uh, Kvatkovsky finishes first for us. Thomas 25th. Bernal 36. Carapaz 37. Castro Viejo 41. Uh, Dennis 43. I don't think there's anybody really... Of no to finish behind the main group. Nobody I really recognise being a big player. No, not really. 
No, nope, should all be fine. Uh, best climber, Froome picked up 7 points. Took some good points for everybody else. Points classification, Froome took 37 points. Sagan took 12. None for Kvatkovsky. Maybe a bit of an oversight, but not too worried. Young Rider, though, Banal, of course, in there. Team classification, third. And compatibility, Froome is in second. So Kvatkovsky keeps his lead at the top of the general classification. As you can see, absolutely nothing changes. I mean, Park will lost a little bit. You know, there's little bits here and there that have lost and gained. Chris Froome gains three places back into the top 30. But again, just apart from little rumblings, nothing of note, to be honest here. Castro Viejo at one place. Nothing of note. Best climber remains Mikhail Kvatkovsky. Chris Froome gets uh, his first points of the uh, climbing classifications. Points classification, Sagan now leads by four points to Kvatkovsky. Uh, young Rider, Bernal still second. Team classification still third and Kvat uh, still first and Kvatkovsky uh, still leads to competitive classification. But hopefully after that, we should be able to gain a little bit. Yeah, still not perfect with uh, Kvatkovsky. I mean, we've got a recovery bonus of plus two. So this next stage is going to be a challenge. We're going to have to ask for some help off the likes of Dennis and... Uh, Carapaz, Castro Viejo starting to struggle as well, but a tough stage coming up next. Let's see what's in store for us in tomorrow's episode. It'll be a very demanding day for everyone. Several mountain passes and a summit finish await you. This is a key stage for the general classification. We lead the general classification, but I don't see how we can hang on to top spot. The stage seems too difficult. We can target victory. We're amongst the favorites. We've got to do what's expected of us. Have a good day, guys. Come on, we're aiming for victory. He can't see how we'll retain the lead in the general classification. Wow, I mean... <sighs> Surely there's only one objective, to say Roglic and Fugslang, ultimately. Unless it's a freak result like there was in uh, stage number 13. I mean, there's only Evan Epo and Pino who can realistically take the general classification a complete change like stage 13 was. But anybody lower than that, I can't see it. So, ultimately, we've just got to stay to the will of Roglic and Fugslang. Uh, the first half of the stage isn't really demanding, so we'll just try and recover some energy in that first half. It will be tricky. But we'll have to see what happens. Oh, new message. Lovely. There you go, Red Arrow 12. You've got yourself on the video. But uh, a decent stage there. No uh, no qualms. As you can see, we've got a few tough stages. Four mountain stages in a row until uh, a flat stage, the time trial, and, of course, that ride to the Champs-Élysées. Can we, can we win the Tour de France? These next four episodes are going to be really important. And if you're looking forward to those, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts as well and subscribe for daily Tour de France content until the end of this tour. Thank you for watching, and particularly for those of you guys who have got to this point, I really appreciate your support. Thank you for watching, and until tomorrow, I will see you guys later. Goodbye for now.